Hello, I'm Brett and I'm in gear at this park getting ready to take my hardtop on my 23 Jeep Gladiator Mojave and modify it. So sit back as I walk you through the ease of installation of a Sunrider, which is a cloth insert that replaces my two freedom panels of this hardtop. Let's go ahead and get right down to it. As you can see here, I do have a full hard top. Uh, Jeep calls these panels here, freedom panels. And there's the rear part of the hard top. This is a real simple installation. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the ease of which I remove those two freedom panels right there and insert this cloth top. This is, uh, I believe these are all made by Best Top. This one has Jeep on it because I had previously ordered a new Jeep Gladiator and received, received that twill soft top. So just a bit about this installation. It's actually a pretty quick process, um, but I'll walk you through how to install this. Here's the hardware that you need as well. Uh, I have my Torx T40 driver. So as I walk around here, uh, let me just walk you through what we're going to do. I first take out the driver's side, uh, then the passenger side, and it's really just as simple as this. You got a latch, got a turnstile, another turnstile, and yet a third turnstile. So it actually has, it actually locks down in all four corners. When I put my Sunrider in, I'm usually able to kind of set it up there myself, uh, but I'm going to use a different method where I use a towel. I'll just slowly kind of move it up from the rear, I'll set it on on the rear of the roof. I'll set down some matting so that if I should need to drag it, I don't feel like I'm gonna scuff up my, uh, my exterior surface. All right, sit back. Okay, here we go. So, simply removing the first panel, driver's side, I just lift it up, put my hand over that roll bar, easy peasy. And when I store these, I usually lazy, lay these down like so. Now that I have those panels released and put aside there, I'm going to go ahead and just set up uh, uh, some matting so that I can more easily transfer my Sunrider to the back of my top here. So I just so happen to have a mat as well as a beach towel right here. I don't think any of this needs to be perfect and in the past I've used I've actually used cardboard but now I'm just going to go ahead and jump in the box. I'm going to go ahead and place the Sunrider on top of uh, this protected surface and I'll just slowly inch it forward. So these are all the bits that I'm going to need to install this. I've got uh, this hard plastic clasp and one, two, three, four, five, six T40 Torx bolts. So this nest part really isn't uh, that difficult. If you have somebody to assist, I think that's probably better. But uh, but again, I've done this a few times, so. I'm actually pretty comfortable uh, moving it. Okay, let's take a closer look at what we did here. So, this will give you an aerial view of what we just did. You have these foam, like water, these foam or rubber, you know, plastic inserts. All I do is, you know, I just lift up that top just to make sure you can see that you know, I'm not pinching anything and it's laying in there nice and smoothly. Um, same for the same for the front here. All right. Just kind of inspect that. That looks like that's going to go ahead and clasp pretty easily. I'll inspect the other side as well. And before I put the bolts in, I usually like to kind of clasp this down as well as the other side. I'm going to wait to do that clasp until I'm actually ready. Uh, well, until I've checked both sides. So I'm gonna check the passenger side for fitment. So as I lift that up, you know, it's, it's clear that I'm not, there's no binding. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't uh, distort that, that foam and that rubber. Same for the front here. You can see it just, it fits in there real nice. And uh, this one clasps real, real nice. Then as well, you know, for alignment, I'll just look at where that latch fits. 
you know, that is just about center. Let me just see where this clasp right here. Okay. Sorry, jostling the camera a little bit, but uh, you can see right there, I think. I'm kind of giving you that perspective on both sides. That latch is, that's about as, you know, centered as I think I can get it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and gingerly set that latch. It's not a complex uh, thing to do, but I just don't think it's a good idea to try to rush through this stuff. And, you know, that's where you, that's where you can damage parts. Now let me go ahead and, and grab the parts that I need. So we've got uh, uh, about six different types of Torx bolt here. And uh, there we go. And then these, these smaller two right here. So for this side, what we need are these two, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Torx bit. I find it just better to, as I'm starting to assemble this, hand snug a few things. Used to do on this with two hands, so this is a okay. I feel like it found its home, and I'm uh, I'm happy with that. Now here's the front. You know, so you do have this plastic spacer in the rear. In the front, you don't need it because it's already got with this latch right here a built-in plastic spacer. So. Well, you, you know, the only thing that I'd recommend on, on installing this is you just don't need to over tighten it. just about ready to sink these in, but I'm only gonna snug them up. Okay, that's, uh, that's snug enough in my opinion. Now, let me, uh, let's just go ahead and see if we moved anything. And, you know, I'm giving you that full, the best perspective I can. And I would say that's, that is, uh, that's a nice latch. So I'll come around to the passenger side. So this last bit is super easy. You can see it here. And I've got these two bolts. Let me posture myself. All we need to do is fit this in here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down so that I can do that with two hands. All right, I think I've got you in the shot there. I like to kind of pull down on that foam that's really trying to help insulate and cut down on wind noise uh, and all of those things. But uh, just give you a, a peek at what I did there. I mean, by you know pulling down and forcing that foam squeeze in on itself, that fits in there very, very easy. Now this next part is equally as easy. I just have one bolt here and one bolt right here. So much easier just to hand screw this in. And in fact, I mean, it's, a, it's kind of a reassuring just to know that you're, you're running those, you're running in the threads and you're not cross thread or anything like that. So I like to just snug them up by hand at first. There is a torque rating on this, you know, and the obvious thing as far as that torque rating is this. You don't want to over tighten it because you'll strip out the, uh, the nut zerts that would be inside this top here and here. I'm sure that can be repaired, but why have the problem? And so I've done this so many times over the years. My torque tightening is just what feels right. Just go around and snug everything up one more turn.
I think that's good enough for now. But here we go, the moment of reveal. I've unlatched that clasp. I've unlatched this clasp. And here we are one-handed. So as I kind of walk around, I'll say, there you are, uh, soft top and hard top at the same time. So from the driver's seat perspective, you know, all you have to do is just unclasp those two clasps and I can do it one armed and it's literally just that easy to have this, this view and this experience with your Sunrider. So thanks for tuning in. Hello, I wanted to add one more little supplement to this, uh, to this Sunrider video. I'm just getting ready to jump on the major road here, uh, 120th Street here in Omaha. And uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, I don't know, get up to about 15 miles an hour, give you some experience for how easy it is to, you know, action these sun riders when you're on the road so here goes all right we'll be heading into the sun so i'm gonna get a little bit of a sun glare i'm gonna throw my hat on real quick and here goes i don't know doing 20 miles an hour right now pull down a visor pull down the other visor Uh, there it is literally that easy so uh, if you're considering you know what it'd be like to have an easy to, to use accessory to enjoy your hard top and have that soft top experience I recommend the Sunrider thanks for tuning in